Thank you, Duvani, for asking me a question. <laughs> now I do. You asked us how we would uh, fulfill these, uh, this idea. It's a simple thing that really we thought was already visible. It's the social workers, highly qualified social workers, more qualified than some parents. But uh, you know, we, we, I'm sure everybody's already met some people that are unqualified to actually raise children before in their lives. Uh, but um, let me continue on with uh, different things like uh, this oversight will be, uh, sorry, children with this oversight will be able to, oh man, I really got that computer. I'm up, I'm up now. Again, she agreed with us. She agreed what needs to, this stuff needs to happen. She agreed that we, there needs to be change. And, and they also argue it'll happen anyways. So if it happens anyways, are we just not supposed to do anything about it? Providing oversight will give homeschooled children, uh, homeschool children opportunity to seek help when needed. Many times, uh, Sophia Mosetta, many times when there is a problem with children, whether it's mental, physical, or academical, teachers and peers are the first to take notice. Taking opportunity away from the child without giving back as a placement, some structures sound framework in order to hold parents accountable for education. This is a huge uh, dis disservice to the children and a community at large. These are the things that she stated. Top of that, there's another lady that said, unregulated homeschool can lead up to education and neglect. Caitlin Towns said, when I was growing up, we always talked about homeschooling officials as big bad wolf. And said, Ms. Towns said, who had to enroll in uh, remedial math, class two in college, when I could have benefited from was a system of evaluation that would have given a mother some red flags that I needed some tutorial in science and math. They also said, sacrificing sacrifices are what the parents are gonna have to make if these laws were be implemented. Sacrifices is the means of being a parent. When you take on the role of being a parent, sacrifices have to happen. You sacrifice your income, you sacrifice uh, your love, your time, your efforts. To not be willing to sacrifice anything, even a little bit of oversight, just to make sure things are not being misdone, is a disservice to the children. And according to uh, Ravon, sorry, Giovanni, uh, these cases are minimal and don't happen very often. I have to argue, even if it prevents one child from being abused in any sort of manner, it, it, this law would have done a good justice. Thank you. Academical? This is academical. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.